What is up YouTube, this is PZZ in here, and you're looking at a watch right now. I wanted to show it to you guys because there's something about it that I have never seen before, that I've never even heard of before, and I thought it was really, really cool, and I just had to share it with you. So, this is going to be a quick video, kind of a quick off the wall, sort of off the cuff video, so hopefully you guys don't mind, there will be some more videos coming in the future. I'll be at a little slower pace because school has started back, but this is going to be a quickie. And uh, let's go ahead and let's get into it. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, this watch probably looks familiar to you. I have been posting about some old watches that have been in our family semi-recently, and uh, this is one of them. Now, it's a very interesting watch if you take a look at it. You'll notice it doesn't have a crown, and it's way too early technology to be a satellite watch, so it, I don't. you're probably wondering how you even set it. And uh, if you take a look at the back, the back just looks crazy, all right? We actually have right here, this is a user replaceable battery, which I think is so cool. Uh, so you just take your penny and unscrew that. You can actually replace the battery yourself. Although I, I do imagine a lot of people probably had jewelers do it. And over here, this is actually how you set the watch. The way you go about setting the time on here is you take, you flip this thing up, all right? It has a little flip up. I think it's right here. Yeah, flip that up. And then when you turn it, you're adjusting the time. All right, so you turn it and time adjusts, which is really cool. Then you just fold it back down and it's nice and seamless. You don't even feel it when it's on the wrist. That little bump there, that's what it looks like, by the way. And it's very interesting, just a very interesting watch. Now, if I show you the uh, face up closer, you'll see this is actually an Accutron. This is actually a watch line from Bulova. It's called the Accutron. And I don't know if this holds true for all the Accutrons, but these early ones, at least, have something very unique about them, all right? In fact, take a look at the 12 o'clock. What does that remind you of, the 12 o'clock? All right? Just think about that for a little bit. On Instagram, I've been referring to this guy as a quartz moving watch. Well, today I was actually corrected by somebody. This is, in fact, not quartz. This is before quartz. I think this one is actually a uh, M7. Where's the date on it? Is that M7? Yeah, M7. M7 actually stands for 1967. I looked up the Bulova dating chart. 1967 is what M7 means. So this is the 1967 watch. And uh, that is before the times of quartz. Not much before. I think quartz was at least being developed in the 60s. But uh, this thing actually runs on a tuning fork. Yes, you heard me right. This watch has a tuning fork. A real, true blue, physical tuning fork inside of it, the same kind you use to tune your piano or tune your guitar or whatever. It has one of those in here, and that is how it tells the time. If I set this on the table, you hear that? A little, a little ringing. That would be the tuning fork. And, uh, what happens is that when you have a battery in here, I believe the battery that's currently in here is dead, and my goodness, I hope it's not corroding, because I really want to put a battery in this and watch it run. But when there's a battery in here, the tuning fork uh, starts to resonate at a frequency that is, it's not detectable to the human eyes. I don't know if you can actually hear this watch or not, but as it resonates, it's the, the tips of the tuning fork are hitting, this, are hitting the teeth of a gear, which is rotating it, and that is causing the second hand to actually move around. In fact, if I take this and I gently tap it like this, watch that second hand. You see how the second hand's moving? I'll do it a little gentler so it doesn't shake so much. That's a different clock, by the way. <laughs> Look at that. Do this hand. I'm literally making this watch, this watch is literally moving with no means of power to it. All right? Yeah, the reason why the watch is moving is because the when I hit when I'm tapping the watch or hitting the watch, the tuning fork inside is resonating and it's actually operating the movement inside of it. How cool is that? That's why the 12 o'clock looks kind of like a tuning fork. I never made that connection before. I thought that that was just some interesting logo that Bulova had come up with to, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about Bulova's logos. So I was just thinking that that was the Accutron logo, but no, that's supposed to resemble a tuning fork. And yeah, it probably is the Accutron logo thinking about it. 
So yeah, this is far, I mean, obviously if you set this down on a table and you get the ring, your watch is probably gonna gain like maybe half a second, which is unfortunate. But aside from that, this is far more accurate than something like a spring activated watch or an auto winding watch that has like a counterweight in it like this one does. All right, if I take this one and shake it, You can hear a little counterweight going on in there. These are, this is an auto winding uh, spring powered watch. You can also wind it with the, the crown if you so desire. And uh, that's how that works. I also have another one right here. Uh, this is how watches used to work before the times of quartz. But then Bolova came out with this tuning fork and the tuning fork is a lot more accurate than the spring is. Uh, mostly just because of the, the frequency, it, I mean with the, battery in there it it's able to keep a nice sort of DC current flowing through it and uh, yeah very interesting that's why it's referred to as the Accutron because it is far far more accurate you lose less time on this than you do on one of these spring powered watches which is pretty cool I mean you can see these were set to the same time but this one's actually a little bit behind this one I don't even need to do a side by side to show you that. So, yep, that's it, guys. Just something I wanted to show you real quickly. This Accutron from Bulova. Wow, it's just, I mean, it's just to think of how far we've come. <laughs> it's so cool, and obviously it does have a smooth sweeping uh, second hand because of the fact that it is doing the uh, the resonating. Yeah, you saw it. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all. I am. I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here. Stay tuned. I will be doing a Zippo video in the upcoming days. I don't know when, but I do have some Zippos coming in that I want to show you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm not going anywhere. Just probably going to be releasing on a slower schedule because of school. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. No pun intended. I hate that. <laughs> and adios.